Hi, it's Przemek here, the developer and designer of MetaGrid Pro. And today I'm very excited to show you our latest grid that will streamline your workflow with a MIDI editor in Cubase. It's a beautiful grid with over 200 commands, a hundred of custom icons and custom color palettes. There are many latching switches that respond to the leader button and reveal additional functions like this group for example. Tapping the leader button, featuring the MetaGrid Pro logo, toggles between velocity and CC ramps. The grid is based on our custom logical editor macros. MetaGrid Pro is shared with nearly 300 custom LE macros, covering useful MIDI functionalities like various CC and velocity options. Let's have a look at the grid in action, shall we? Let's start from the transmit functions. We have got the play from left locator function and play from selection start. The play from left locator function is a latching switch that changes its state based on the incoming MIDI message from Cubase. So if you press start in Cubase, the button will turn green indicating playback. If you don't need these buttons, you can easily customize them by, for example, splitting them to smaller items, creating your own buttons with the features you need. You have also got some basic zoom options useful while working with a MIDI editor, like zoom to selection, zoom to locators, and undo. The grid features various selection options, like selecting events under cursor or in the loop, selecting notes within an octave, or within all octaves, selecting CC data before and beyond cursor, and selecting all CC data. Apart from that, we've got the useful note selection section based on the beat structure where you can select the first notes in beats, of beats, or smaller divisions. Then we have track visibility options like show all tracks, tracks with data, tracks between locators, tracks with data at cursor, selected tracks only, and you can also show and hide controller lanes. The grid also enables you to transpose notes by 1 or 12 semitones. There are also some useful quantize options like creating legatos, quantizing note ends and note lengths, and when I press the shift button on the grid, I've got access to the grid quantization options. Now, let's go to the velocity options. You can easily set a specified value or randomize the values within a certain range, use fixed values or increase and decrease values. You can also create velocity ramps. Just select the nodes and select one of the available options to quickly make increasing or decreasing velocity patterns. With Shift enabled, you can quickly select nodes with certain velocity values, compress and expand the values, or show velocity editors. Let's now go to the CC options. They are dedicated options for popular CC parameters. Modulation, breath, volume, and expression. You can easily select and copy the values, compress and expand them, and increase and decrease them in various steps. With Shift enabled, you can copy certain CC values to other CC lanes and create CC ramps similar to velocity ramps. The last section includes six buttons for your customization. You can easily create buttons with your most useful functions for MIDI editing. Just go to the edit mode, select the button you want to customize, Select the layout type, add an icon, select color, and create a macro. MetaGrid Pro gives you access to nearly all commands available in Cubase 12. Just add an action and search for the respective command.
here we go. It can't be easier than that. And what's great about MetaGrid Pro is that you can customize every button on the grid by your needs and workflows. When you tap a button, MetaGrid Pro displays the last performed action in the top section of the screen. You can also go into the full screen mode to make the grid larger, and you can also add a border to make your grid look even sleeker. Now, let's talk about the setup. First, you need to download the Metasystem app specific resources from our website. Then, in Cubase, you need to add three generic remote devices Metasystem 1 XML, Metasystem 2 XML, and Metasystem 3 XML. Metasystem 1 and Metasystem 2 XML files should be assigned to Metasystem Cubase MIDI ports. On the other hand, Metasystem 3 XML device should be assigned to Metasystem MIDI in and out ports. For detailed instructions regarding the setup, read the MIDI and the DAW setup guide available through the settings screen. Now you need to copy the LE macros to the respective location. In Cubase, go to the LE setup and check the locations of the logical editor files. In the LE presets folder, create a new folder named MetaGrid. And copy the XML files from the logical edit folder in the app specific resources you have downloaded from our website. Then you need to restart Cubase to make these macros visible for the logical editor. The last step is to import the Cubase MIDI grid. In the Content Manager in MetaGrid Pro, select the Cubase profile if you already created it, or create a new profile for Cubase. Tap the Share icon in the Grid section, select Imports from Presets, and tap Cubase MIDI. Assign the imported grid to a scene, and you are ready to go. Cubase MIDI grid is a great addition to your Cubase setup. Combined with our Cubase selected channel grid, it gives you a powerful controller combo that will speed up your work with Cubase. Enjoy! Mm -hmm.